In Book 2, Chapters 11 and 12 of Frank Herbert's Dune, the narrative deepens into the culture of the Fremen and the personal evolution of Paul Atreides in his journey towards becoming Muad'Dib, a central figure within this desert society. Chapter 11 opens with an epigraph from Princess Irulan, discussing the strengths of her father, the Emperor, against the backdrop of the Bene Gesserit's complex machinations. The chapter transitions into a tense situation where Paul must fight Jameis, a Fremen who challenges Jessica and, by extension, Paul as her champion. The battle dictated by Fremen law is to be a fight to the death, requiring Paul to kill or be killed. A stark difference from the training he has received, which emphasized non-lethal combat with the assistance of shields. Paul's struggle during the fight is not only physical, but emotional, as he grapples with the idea of killing Jameis. Despite his reluctance, Paul emerges victorious, leading to mixed reactions from the Fremen and his own mother, who challenges him on how it feels to be a killer. This event is pivotal as Stilgar, a respected Fremen leader, names Paul Usul, a name marking his acceptance into their community, while Paul chooses Paul Muad'Dib as his Fremen name, echoing his visions of leading a massive jihad. Chapter 12 follows the aftermath of Jameis's death, focusing on his funeral. This chapter, starting with an epigraph from Princess Irulan about Arrakis being a place to train the faithful, delves into Fremen customs surrounding death, particularly the recovery of the deceased's water, a precious resource on the desert planet. Paul, though conflicted, participates in these rituals, demonstrating his growing integration into Fremen society. His display of tears during the funeral impresses the Fremen, as crying for the dead is a profound expression of compassion in their culture, where water is invaluable. The chapter explores the significance of water and its symbolic value among the Fremen, highlighting their dreams of terraforming Arrakis into a more habitable world. Jessica realizes the strategic importance of these aspirations in her and Paul's struggle against the Emperor and the Harkonnens. In these chapters, the themes of survival, adaptation, and the weight of prophecy are explored as Paul steps deeper into the Fremen world and his destiny as Muad'Dib. His internal conflict over the envisioned jihad and its inevitability becomes a central focus, revealing Paul's apprehensions about his future role and the violent path that seems laid out for him. Through the rituals and customs of the Fremen, Herbert explores concepts of water as life, community bonds, and the cultivation of personal and societal identities in the face of harsh environmental and political realities. If this content helpful, please reward me with a like and subscribe, and tell me what you thought about this video down in the comments. Thank you for watching this Bookly Crash Course video.